Hey, this is Lex at Max Future, and uh, I'm going to do a little experiment. Apple recently came out with a new SD card reader for iOS devices, and uh, it was kind of hard to get. I kept going to the Apple Store and was never in stock, but today I was able to pick one up. And so why is it important? Because apparently this one, if you look at the specs from Apple's website, this SD card reader on iOS works with the iPad Pro, and the iPad Pro supposedly has... A connection in the lightning connection that is a USB 3 um, speed which is much faster another much more data USB 3 is almost like a thunder uh, port that Apple has and so it's supposed to be faster at reading uh, SD cards and so I decided to do an experiment now the I have the latest iPhone 6s uh, but you know first I was going to uh, test it on the iPad Pro this is the iPad Pro and I put a little clock there to measure the time and so the idea was I took a whole bunch of pictures including 4k video and a whole bunch of pictures both in raw mode and in um, in regular JPEG and here you see side by side there are 45 files all together and they're started at the same time the iPad Pro is on the left and I've and I've lined up the video so that the seconds on both uh, clocks are you know synchronized you can see 14 seconds here and theoretically you would think that the import on the iPad Pro since it has iPad Pro 3 uh, has as USB 3 speeds would be much faster now it's also going to be a function of the SD card but the thing is I've got one of the fastest SD cards and I think it's supposed to read right at like 90 megabytes per second it's a transcend SD card it's especially made for my camera the GH4 that can uh, the Panasonic GH4 which can record in 4k and so it's supposed to be a, a fast card reader uh, I mean a fast SD card that can read you know but the thing is you can see the results of the test here so I ran it and it took 53 seconds for the 45 files to, f to load on the iPad Pro and the iPhone 6s which doesn't have USB 3 speeds came in at 63 seconds. So what's the difference? Well, it's 16% faster to load on the iPad Pro compared to the iPhone. So that is an improvement, but not massive.